In this demonstration, I'll show how to develop CenterView plugins using the Eclipse environment. First, I want to show our plugin development environment wiki page that has instructions on how to download Eclipse, open and set up the project, how to compile and debug. Now I will show you how to do that. With Eclipse open, I'm going to select Import. I will open the General tab, select Existing Projects in Workspace. And I'm going to browse to the Corda CenterView Server Plugins directory. Select it, and there's the plugins project that's delivered with CenterView. Now I'm going to switch perspectives to the debug perspective. We can navigate the source code and I can open up the source code. In this example we're going to take a look at the row highlighting plugin. We'll place a breakpoint attached to CenterView server and step through the code. So I will go ahead and I will set a breakpoint. And now we need to attach to center view. We deliver a configuration. It's under remote Java application called Remote Tomcat 8000. With that ready, I will now start the center view server in debug mode. and now I can attach by clicking the debug. We'll click on the debug perspective and we are ready to debug our application. So now I'm going to launch the center view builder and I'll open up the sampler dashboard which is under examples, sampler, and I'll open up the page that uses that plugin, which is the table groups. We've hit our breakpoint. So now I can look at variables. I can step over the code. And we can look at variables. I'll go ahead and let this run. Now we'll make a modification to the code and compile it and we'll show the change. So I'm going to set the variable of color equal to yellow. What this is going to do is hard code the value of yellow for the color. The color is used for the background color as the cursor moves over the rows. In this case it's a brown tan color. Now we need to compile this new code. So I'm going to switch my view to the ant view and I'm going to add build files and under plugins select the build XML file. And now I will run the compile target. It has been built. So now we need to stop and restart this interview server those changes to be applied. I'll start the server back up. And now we can reattach using the remote Tomcat 8000 configuration. All right, we are now attached, and I will refresh this page. We've hit our breakpoint, and I'm going to move that breakpoint down to here. Let it run. Our 
color right now is set to that value. We will now step over. Our color is now yellow. And now we'll let it run. And we'll come back over to the builder. And as you can see, our background color is now yellow. We have now modified the plugin code, compiled it, and deployed it to our center view server. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you.